up and, and trying to be safe, uh, you know, I, I, I can start there and, and make a difference. And just in the way that I am in each and every moment, each one of my interactions, uh, no matter what's going on with me, no matter what my opinion is, no matter how much connection I have to a higher connection or a deeper connection, uh, wherever we are and however we are is really, really perfect. And it's just about making a choice in each moment. How is it going to be? How do we want to be experienced life and share it with others? So I, I hear what you're saying with that ripple effect and that totality of all of us joined together. Uh, it's really compassion is a bridge that can help us during this time to reconnect with one another. Yeah, and I definitely like to uh, make sure that I'm expanding my view with it, uh, with the compassion and thinking about where are they coming from, you know, putting myself in their shoes so I can see either the opposite view or something halfway in between or wherever it is just to understand a, a larger view because I feel, you know, if I don't look at the the opposite of what I, I believe initially and then look at everything in between, I'm really not looking at the bigger view. And I really believe that looking at the bigger view is one of the most important things we're going to be doing here and coming up in the future here. Uh, so uh, then, then uh, I was thinking, you know, compassion dissolves conflict. You know, it just really has a way of uh, letting people, you know, if they see that, that you're involved in, in being compassionate towards them, you know, they're, they're going to see that you are making an effort. And uh, that's that's pretty important in itself. Uh, so the world. Yeah, it's, it's, hard, it's hard to have conflict in, in, in the midst of compassion. The whole idea is that embracing, you know, kind of, oh, sorry, got to watch that. Those words, McKenna, that embracing <laughs> thing. We're supposed to social distance. We're we're talking yeah. energetically. We're talking, you know, inspirationally here. But uh, yeah, dissolving. <laughs> I mean. I think that's really important to look at because conflict, you know, represents judgment and compassion can represent forgiveness. And forgiveness for me isn't like somebody's done something wrong. It's like giving up something for something else. So we're giving up conflict for compassion. I mean, we're not at, at talking about walking around as saints, but it's about really caring, uh, caring and kindness and, and, you know, consideration, uh, all the C words, I guess, um, that help us be compassionate to one another, understanding and acceptance, uh, different words that let us remember that. Uh, so it's, it's important as we make our way that we can, can let go of whatever struggle we might be having to create a space within us and between us that allows us to, to function differently. Yeah. So the, I think keeping a compassionate, keeping compassionate eyes, compassionate view of things and opening your heart. The heart is always involved is, is it means you're ready to heal. So this is, this is what we're talking about is healing. You know, we're healing the planet. Uh, you know, sometimes I, I look at, you know, and ourselves at the same time, but you know, sometimes I look at it as, uh, a planet that may be taking on a little water, a ship that's floating through the universe that's uh, got some issues that are starting to worry us. And uh, so I start to realize, man, we got to think big. We got to think bigger and we got to come together. We have to. Yeah, compassion certainly can build a bridge. I, I, I'm always thinking about these things that we're talking about putting in place and making happen. And we're so used to last year uh, in 2019 uh, being able to be together and there's a, a real different kind of way to convey uh, compassion, understanding, acceptance, all these qualities of our soul. When we're together, we can experience it as we're sharing it with one another. And yet now we're in a completely different place of expression and experience as a society, as a, as a, as a race. And, and compassion is not something that, that has to happen in person. So as we're moving into what feels like as this you know, year begins, uh, an acceleration of some of these situations we're going to have to deal with, it's changing the way that we interact and we relate to one another and how we're going to communicate and, and so on. And compassion can bridge even the social distance by being able to use vehicles like we're using today, you know, uh, podcasts and radio shows and doing uh, different things that we can share our compassion 
uh, with the world and it can help us connect with one another. And like you're talking about, come together in a, in a space energetically and like that symphony of life that can help us all kind of rise up a bit above all these things we're dealing with and begin to come together um, and make a difference. It's, it's really an important time for all of us, for sure. Yes. Uh, and just remember, it's a tool. Compassion is a tool. If you use it, we get something out of it. If we don't use it, hey, we're going down the same path. So use your, the tools that you have. Uh, you know, that, so if you're using a tool such as that, and let's say we have some big waves, you know, I mean, it's, uh, then we, you know, this, this is what we need to look for to, uh, to go into uh, some gentler waves, you know, to, to, uh, use compassion and what's in our heart to make them gentler. Well, and it's kind of like, uh, emotions, uh, emotion, energy, and motion. I frequently relate to. Uh, waves. And so, you know, what can happen like this whole year has, has kind of, it, it hasn't happened to us. You and I both know that it has happened and it is certainly impacting and affecting us and emotions you'll feel sometimes wash over you, or you can actually feel like you're getting, you know, drowning in them or, or getting lost in them. You're trying to keep your head above, above water with some of what you might be experiencing. I've had some tremendous loss in uh, 2020, uh, family members and others close to me as a result of what's been going on. And uh, it, it washes over you. And as you're using something like compassion, it helps you, as you're talking about, heal, release, allow it to, like the heavy wave to, to wash away and feel the gentler, softer expression of ourselves within, with each other and with the world. So that's a beautiful metaphor that you're using with the waves we need some peaceful rolling waves, maybe a sunset in the background and a cool breeze uh, to enjoy instead of a bit of the chaotic, stirred up storms we've been experiencing of conflict in 2020. Yeah, I'm really excited to be a part of it. I, I mean, just living. It's, uh, I don't think I've been very stressed out over the last year, which kind of worries me. I mean, everybody else looks more stressed out, but uh, I'm excited to be here because I know I can affect change and I know you can, I know all of us can. So, uh, that's, that's what I just, I'm always excited about life. Well, and that's what we're doing here on the show. You know, you and I coming together, whether I'm carrying on sharing about something or we're having an interview, uh, those are the uh, key characteristics. We can all be a part of the change. I, oh, I'm, I'm ending almost all of my communications with be the difference that makes the difference. And that's really where it starts by being it uh, and us being able to be together today to share this. Uh, and be, for those of you who are joining us and listening, thank you. I mean, uh, we're here not to say how it's going to be or what should be done, but, you know, sharing some of our experience, strength and hope. Uh, our, our way of being to to make a difference uh, with and for for each and all of you. So um, if you want to connect with me or through me to McKenna, don't hesitate to uh, send me an email, R-E-V-J-I-M-T-O-O-L-E at gmail.com. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions or assist you. And if you have any for McKenna, please feel free to send them to me. I'll make sure he gets them. And I'll get your answers to you. Um, we're here with you. Uh, today to make a difference. I thank you, McKenna, uh, for being a part of the show with me. I've enjoyed having you here. It's good to have you uh, in this conversation. Yeah, and I've really enjoyed it too. This has been uh, a good, uh, good little session here. Good time, you know, sharing about the things that make a difference so we can be a difference as we're moving forward. So as you're making your way, you know, find your opinions, find your truth, uh, certainly speak it. Uh, speak it with compassion, you know, understanding, acceptance, uh, allow your compassionate heart to guide what you say and do. And let's have that be the catalyst for change that makes the difference for each of us being the difference that makes the difference. So as you make your way, be well, be safe. God bless all of you. Um, and we'll, we'll be together again soon on the next show. God bless. <laughs>